Welcome to TamsGuitar.com and we are going to take a look at a solo from a song called Trains by Porcupine Tree. This solo is in A minor pentatonic scale and I'm going to break this solo down into different fragments and we are going to learn each fragment. So the first fragment is like this very slowly. <laughs> You hammer on from 6th string 3rd fret to 6th string 5th fret. So you put your first finger on 6th string 3rd fret and you hammer on like this. You just pick the 6th string 3rd fret and you hammer on to the 6th string 5th fret. It's a difficult solo. Alright. Then again you hammer on from 6th string 3rd fret and then from 5th string 3rd fret to 5th string 5th fret. So, so this is the feel. Then you slide from 5th string 5th fret with the help of your 3rd finger to 7th fret and pick twice. So, so far, alright. Then you hammer on from 4th string 5th fret to 4th string 7th fret then pick twice the 7th fret. So, so far. Alright. Then you play the 5th fret on 3rd string with the help of your 1st finger. After playing the 5th fret on 3rd string, you play the 7th fret on 4th string twice. Then again 5th fret, again 7th fret twice. Then you play the 4th fret on 3rd string. So, I'll play from the hammer on 3rd string sorry 4th string 5th fret hammer on to the 7th fret so when it goes in a flow then you might not get the sound of the 7th fret in the next round so, so it might sound like a break so either you play the 7th fret twice or you you do some sort of a muted scratch See, it's a feel thing, so you learn it slowly by picking it twice, then you replace it with a scratch. Alright, so it's very difficult to explain because it's a feel thing. So you can scratch it. So after 4th fret, 3rd string, you play 5th fret, 4th string, then 7th fret, 4th string, 5th fret, 4th string, 7th fret, 4th string, and in between you can play a muted stroke. Just hold it lightly and pick. So. So you go through this part over and over and join it very slowly. I'll give you last hint. The next part you play the 5th fret 5th string with the help of your 3rd finger. Then you play 6th string 5th fret with the help of your 2nd finger and 5th string 3rd fret with the help of your 1st finger. So from here, so when you are playing the 3rd fret 5th string you try to pull it down a quarter step bend. Then you play the 6th string 5th fret. So. So after this, you play 5th string 3rd fret and 5th string 5th fret. After this, you just 
do a slight bend, a quarter step bend, then fifth string third fret and fifth string fifth fret. So this part. So you play again the fifth fret, then you do the quarter step bend by picking again. You pull off to the fifth string third fret. You can pick it also if you wish. Then again you play the fifth string fifth fret. So this part very slowly. So let us join again. After this you you slide from the fifth fret fifth string to the seventh fret fifth string. Then you play fourth string fifth fret. Then fourth string seventh fret. Then third string fifth fret. Then third string seventh fret twice. So this part slowly. After picking it twice, you play the 5th fret 3rd string, 7th fret 3rd string and you slide to the 9th fret. So 5, 7, then again pick 7 and slide to 9. Then you, you can mute it once, so you learn this part separately. Put your second finger on the 8th fret 2nd string, 1st finger 7th fret 1st string. So we start off with the mute, then you put your 4th finger on 10th fret 1st string, then 2nd finger 8th fret 1st string, 1st finger 7th um, fret 1st string. fret second string 10th fret second string twice so so far we did till here all right then the next part is after the 10th fret twice 8th fret first string 10th fret second string then 7th fret 1st string, 8th fret 2nd string. Then again 8th fret 1st string and 10th fret 2nd string. Actually this line is repeated twice. So you have to listen to it a bit carefully. Alright, so let us join from here. So this part after the repetition is you play 10th fret 2nd string twice, 8th fret 1st string, 10th fret 2nd string, 7th fret 1st string, 8th fret 2nd string and you play twice the ninth fret third string so very carefully you listen to this part and join on your own so with a little bit speed So after picking it twice on the 9th fret, so this part slowly. So you put your 1st finger on 3rd string 5th fret and then play the 7th fret 3rd string with the help of your 3rd finger. 
then you bring your first finger to the fourth fret third string then you play the fifth fret third string twice so this part then after this fourth fret third string fifth fret fourth string seventh fret fourth string so this part again the next part is so you start with your first finger on fourth fret third string so third string fourth fret fifth fret seventh fret then fourth fret once again four five seven four on the third string then you pull off from the fifth fret to the fourth fret on the third string then you play the seventh fret fourth string with the help of your fourth finger so this part so so after the seventh fret fourth string you again play the fourth fret third string so so you play it slowly and build the speed then you play fifth fret on the uh, fourth string and play the seventh fret on the fourth string a few times you listen to the song so while you give it a vibrato you pick so you just shake the strings you know like this you bring it up and down it's a wrist work so the last part thanks for watching and do like us on facebook and twitter where there are pages in the name of tams guitar and also mail me at info@tamsguitar.com if you have any queries and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who are in need see you next time bye bye